And welcome back on our hazy Thursday evening across the region. First alert weather day. Let's talk about it. Heat risk. That's reason number one. Also severe storm risk later in the afternoon, evening hours as well. Heat alert in effect from noon until nine tomorrow. The areas here shaded in orange. So if you're in northwest Minnesota, many of you are not included in this. Also, if you're looking at areas like Devil's Lake Basin, uh, James River Valley, also not included. Northern Red River Valley, including Grand Forks, also Red River Valley South. Fargo area south. We are looking at this heat alert again noon to nine heat index as warm as 101 degrees. Temperatures right now around the region starting to settle down a little bit. We're 69 in Bemidji, uh, 72 for Detroit Lakes, Baudette, Rose, a little warmer off to the west. Jamestown and Devils Lake at 79, 76 in Siston. Current temperature right now in Fargo, 78 degrees. Southeast wind 20, gusting to 26 miles per hour. And this is something we're going to see through the overnight hours. Excuse me. Oftentimes overnight winds will start to die down. That is not going to be the case tonight. In fact, winds are only going to pick up as we head toward tomorrow. Moorhead at 75. Current conditions Grand Fork 77 degrees. Southeast wind at 17, gusting again to 26 miles per hour, making it feel like 79. Uh, here's what we've been for the last several days. Almost the entire region in that moderate air quality zone right there. So uh, what's going to happen here is we head over the next about 24 to 48 hours. Well, the blue that means better. Basically that puts us on the lower end. You start seeing the yellow, orange, red. That's when we really get into that high to very high range. So again, tomorrow morning we're looking pretty good in most areas. Then look what happens tomorrow afternoon and evening. We'll start to see some of that yellow, orange, even red work its way into Devil's Lake Base. And the good news is it'll quickly push back to the north. But in the meantime, Friday night, early Saturday could be very smoky in those locations uh, by Saturday evening. Most areas again in the blue, so on the lower side. So we're not going to get rid of it completely, but it is going to look a little bit better at times, both tomorrow, Saturday as well. First alert forecast. See these blue arrows that indicates that southerly wind and we start to see green that indicates those winds picking up even stronger uh, overnight tonight. Notice those arrows don't go away, so we're going to continue to see that south southeast breeze about 10, 15, 20 miles per hour. Then tomorrow afternoon we're jumping into the 20, 30, 35 plus mile per hour gust. Not only that temperatures warming up. In fact, as warm as 95 in Fargo. Uh, we're going to see that opportunity for storms as well. Pick up during the afternoon and evening hours that actually go right through Saturday morning and the potential is there to see a severe thunderstorm or two. Along with that, we could see the potential isolated uh, tornado risk as well. Heat indices as we get to tomorrow. That's the number on your right there. 101 is what it's going to feel like in Fergus Falls, Wapton. 105 potentially as high as that in Fargo. 101 in Grand Forks. A little cooler off to our west. The front will start to push through the region. Severe weather risk for tomorrow afternoon, evening. Hail up to an inch and a quarter in diameter. Wind gust 60. Isolated tornadoes possible. Those areas shaded in the dark green. Uh, that area gets even larger as we head towards Saturday afternoon as far as expanding uh, that region. Again, about the same thing in terms of isolated tornadoes. Uh, at least that potential is there. We're going to jump into Saturday night. Another risk as we head into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon and evening. Yet another risk of uh, thunderstorms for sure. Potentially severe storms. So, of course, keeping an eye on this throughout the weekend. Joseph Williams will be in this weekend. He may be a little busy. We'll see how that goes. It's going to be hot Friday, hot again for your Saturday. A little cooler Sunday and Monday. Still that chance for storms on Sunday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of next week. We're back to the heat again, so we're kind of making that crossover there from the end of July, beginning of August, right in the middle of next week, and it certainly feels like mm -hmm. typically the hottest yes. time of the year. It feels like the hottest time of the year. It certainly does. Yeah, thanks Russ. on the campaign trail. Former President Trump is attacking Kamala Harris because of a murder in Minnesota. We'll tell you why next.